Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I am doing a different type of WoW guide and it's to tame um, a spirit beast for beast mastery and its name is Gera. So today I will go through each step to in order to tame Gera. Right now I'm at this grave in Shadow Moon Valley on the south or the south of the burial fields. Right now you can't do anything to tame him or her. But right now I'm gonna show you how to tame him. So right now you need to get this this item called the spirit effigy. And that's how you get to notice uh, to tame Gera. So right now I'm gonna get all the pieces for it. So the first piece I'm going to collect is one from Gorgon and these pieces that you need to collect are just every round Draenor so right now I'm going to head to Gorgon and I'll meet you guys there alright guys welcome back so right now I'm at Gorgon just a bit north of Beaker's Breaker's Crown and we have to kill the Drymon Bone Picker to collect one of the items I don't know what the drop rate is, but we'll see. Oh, okay. So I guess you get it on the first kill. So I got this one right now, and then the next stock we're going to is Frost Roll. Uh, Frostfire Ridge. Sorry, is it called Frost Wolf Ridge? Yeah, Frostfire Ridge. We're just heading west right now, so I'll see you guys there in a second. Alright, so now we just got to Gromgar, and that's where the second piece is where we're going to collect. And we just have to kill the guys inside of Gromgar, so we're going to head into there right now. I believe it's the Giant Slayer that drops the piece. And yeah, drops it. So the next one is from a Necrolite and Frostfire Ridge. So I'll meet you guys there. And Gromgar, just from east from the Horde Garrison. It's pretty noticeable on your map, so it shouldn't be too hard to know where to go. Alright, so we're in Frostfire Ridge in the furthest northwest of the zone. It's right beside the ruin to Adagar. It's a nice scar of Boneyard, and it's in that one flight path for the Horde for that quest for Gul'dan. It's from the west of that town right there. So all you have to do is just kill a Necrolay, which is one of these guys down here. To drop the cloth that we need. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna be heading to Nagran. Just south from Frostfire Ridge. That's where we'll be getting our next piece. So see you guys there. Alright, so now we are at Nagran. Sorry, it's gonna get a little bit laggy right now for some strange reason. Right here is where we need to kill Warsong Marauder, and that's what it drops our next piece. Which is the small fruit, is that what? Yeah, that's what we Okay, so now we head into Talador, and then our last, that's our second last um, place we need to go, and then Spires of Iraq. Oh sorry, and by the way, the Marauders are at this little camp right here, just south of where Garrosh gets killed. They also spawn at the beginning area of Negron right there, and also at that uh, outpost as well. So I'll see you guys at Talador. Alright, so our next one is here in what is this place called? Gold Rock. 
It's just in Talador, which is just south of Shakhtar City. West of Akandun, so it's pretty easy. Come here, we just have to kill one of these legionnaires. Pretty straightforward. Oh god. Alright, looks like we're gonna lose fight. Okay. <laughs> so now we just have to head to Spider Racks to get our next one, which is from an Air Corps of Prophets. So see you guys at Spires of Iraq. Alright, so now we're in Sethek Hollows, and you can just get here from Talon's Watch, or just fly here from Lion's Garrison. So it's pretty easy, no word, it shows right in the map, and all you have to do is kill one of these prophets. Just down here. To do that, you should get the other sense, and once you do that, you can make the thing that we need to which I believe is called the Spirit Effigy. So right there I got the Spirit Effigy. And we need that for Gara, but we need another piece for layer part of Tame uh, Gara, which we have to have to go to this uh the Shadow Moon place. Not Shadow's goal, but it's kinda an odd looking area. That area right there. We just have to go over there really quickly. Okay, now that we have collected all the pieces, we just have to go back to Gera and then use it on this grave that's right beside Dog. So we'll just get over there really quick. Upon coming back to Gera, you notice that this thing appeared at this sort of grave. And all we have to do is just use the Spirit Effigy. It's from Mother and World that spawns. It's a bit of dialogue, so it's gonna be. Alright, so this Void Lord named Zan takes away Gera, and in order to get it, we need to get this item from Pillars of Fate, which is just south, uh, it's kind of southwest, west area of here. It's just above uh, Anguish Fortress, so I'm heading there right now. So we get the item from a Void Twister. Which is probably just one of these mobs. I'm like, no, right there. <laughs> so we'll go and kill him really quick. Which is just this item is the Void Lantern, and I'll just go to where we need to be, which is just in Shadow Moon Valley. And there's a tree in this field, just northwest of Temple of Carabor. Now I'll just get there shortly. I'll show you pretty soon. Alright, so we're at this tree right now that looks like to be dying. So we just need to use the void landing right here. And with it, should be a dagger stabbed right into the tree. Right there, the Shadow Moon Void Blade. So upon clicking on it, you go into this void realm, where these are these huge elites, <laughs> as you can see everywhere. And we just have to kill a few in order to uh, summon Xan. It shouldn't be too hard. And also Gara's with us, which he helps us fight him and all that good stuff.
you can um, pretty much do this at any level. It's not too hard to solo these guys, especially if you aren't here. It's tanking it. That is not much damage, but they do have quite a bit of health. That's only the downfall of it. Elder Void Lords actually have a bunch more health than those, uh, those Void Callers. Let's notice that. By the way, you can also do this part with other um, hunters S since you can, um, when you kill the last guy, exact, I believe that's his name, when he spawns it's shareable, and then it's just this one dog that everybody can just tame, so, you know, you don't have to do this by yourself, but right now I'm just doing it by myself because nobody else is doing it. Probably skip this part and then just let's get to the part where Xan appears because this might just take me 10 minutes. I don't want you guys to watch me just doing this, killing mindlessly mobs. <laughs> so, see you guys soon. So I killed around like 8 and then he finally disappeared. It's pretty easy, he only has 614k health, so won't take too long just to kill him. It's probably not that hard to kill either. But once you kill him, you sh it should, uh, Gera should be attainable as. Resum, all you have to do, all you have to do is just dismiss your pet, and then make sure you have a spot available, and you just tame them. And that's how you get one of the spirit beast. Now I know there's not too much you can get for spirit beast. I know there's a bunch in Northern when Wrath came out, so there's a bunch there. But this is one of the easy ones to attain. So that's my guide for you guys. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you guys later.